Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today is the actually anxiety day. This is also two days later after my RC car motor decided to go up in flames. But kind of. So today is really an exciting day. Sorry for all the mess you're about to see. Look what came in. A new motor. And also I got some... I decided to be play it safe a little more, so I got this, and to help attach the fans, I have extensions, uh, uh, servo splitters, so I can connect them to the ECA on both of these fans, because I only have one more ESC, um, receiver slot, ESC slot, what am I talking about? So these are kind of meant for servos, but they also work for fans, and this heat is going to go on this motor to help... With all the coin. And hope to gosh this motor doesn't try to kill itself. Okay, that's not gonna work. It's so open one handed. I gotta set the cabin down real quickly. Alright, so the motor is out. I'm gonna go ahead and actually put this thing in real quickly. Let me go back. Now, so this installation process takes a good minute to do. I gotta find my tools, anyways. Alright, so now the motor is in. Time for the heatsink. Everything's attached. Let's see the fans actually run. Nope. One's running. It's like this one's not getting the voltage. That's weird. Let me figure this out. Okay, so I figured out the problem. Fan was dead on arrival. Uh, so what happened is I tried to take this out, and then the cables just just, just came off. So that's lovely. Alright, so I'm going to end up getting a replacement for this, for the heat sink. It'll 
I think it'll end, be, end up going back today. So, but yeah, I'll get a replacement of this. I think it was just out of luck that this happened. It is what it is. I'm not that mad at all, if I'm being honest. But otherwise, that'll do it. The vehicle is put back together. I will get this thing running sooner than later. I'll probably run it by the time I get the heat. By the time I get the heat sink replaced. Okay, so the replacement came. We gave. We had to replace this. So come on, camera. See so, ya. Yeah. So I'm gonna get the replacement on real quickly and make sure it actually works this time, and hopefully not break the connectors. Just pop it on here. Just like so. Click. And wire these up. Give me a second. I'm gonna put this on the wall. Actually, never mind. One handed wiring. Maybe. Aw, oh, crap. Nope. This might not work for the plan. Let me get these wired up real quickly. <laughs> It ain't working. Okay, it's all wired up. Let's see if it works. Oh, what's going on? There we go. I think I think that was partially due is because it's using a splitter, so it's not getting the pre it's not getting completely the same voltage as it would. If it was just a single connector. So what I'm going to do is actually try something. See if I can't get on one of these each. On the third controller and there's another first controller. So I'm going to see if that works. But I can feel air. Yes. So happy. Actually, I don't think that needs to happen. Alright, well, I think I'm going to end this video here. I'm glad this came in literally a day after. I'm glad it worked. Yesterday was just luck of the draw, I think. I can feel my car right now. So, this was not fit spinning as fast, so what I'm going to do is probably switch these connectors. So this one's spinning faster, and then this one can get the lower RPM. Otherwise, that'll do it, guys. See you guys later. Take care. And sorry for moving my hands all the way down.